Now she's starting to do little food chasing drills. So what she does is she does the same thing we did luring, sped up. She runs, the dog chases after it, and gets it. Now you can unclip that. So she did a miss in the middle of one of those. She made her miss. So do, do several where you just straight and give it to her. Straight and give it to her. Straight, she gives it to her. Straight, she gives it to her. Straight. So each of those, she's, the dog's taking a piece of food out of her hand, right? That was a miss. So that one there, that last one, the dog was going, and you hear the dog's teeth clack. That was her yanking her hand out of the way at the last second, and then the dog comes back to get it. So it's just a game of it. The dog chases, and right at the last second, when she wants to make the dog miss, she'll just pull her hand out of the way quickly and go the opposite direction. So the dog goes shooting past her, and she's running the other way. The dog has to come back and get her. There it was a miss, and then she lets her get it. Miss. Boom. And... Oh yeah. <laughs> but you can see how motivating this is to the dog, right? So it takes food and turns it into a game. So it's not like the, the dog will do this game even when they're not hungry, right? Once we built it, in the beginning, of course, they have to be hungry to be interested in it. But as you go, they'll turn into a point where they don't even care what it is. Like she could have a rock in her hand. The dog doesn't care, right? The dog is enjoying the interactive activity of chasing after, getting it, acquiring it, like we talked about. So we're building motivation in a game that we can use to reward the dog.